Itadori Yuji Don went and got himself a domain expansion. So let's draw the scene. So there's been an image release of an anime style and like a fan version. And then there's the manga style as well. So kind of do a mix maybe. Landscape page, pencil eraser, hit pause if I go too fast. Middle fingers for him. Interesting, this thing. Center point. Here, we'll come up over to the left a bit. And we start with that large eye of his. I'm going to go the old book kind of anime style. Maybe. Diagonal that way. Then we will carve it across. And then we have you know, like a bit of a tear duct just here. And I'll thicken up this. Okay. Bottom eyelid, so it kind of goes this way. There. Tear ducts are lying in there. And then he's looking up and to the left. And the pupil. Eyebrow just above, simple enough like that. And then we go diagonal and then across, skinnier at the back, and then like some texture in there. Give him an eyelid line. I think he needs it. Right and then, nose, it's kind of down from the eye. So we go down a bit, that way, and curves in, kind of like a letter L. Nostril, there, and we have a manga they like. Around like that. Looks like he has a scar on his forehead, so the nose will go in that way. And sort of up here. And this eye is like closed and or destroyed, right? So we go, the eyebrow kind of like curves across here. And then his eye just kind of disappears back here. And that's like, it's closed, right? So we'll just do like eyelashes kind of closed there. And then there's all this hatching and scar sort of tissue, I'd say, just coming across, right? So it's all like, Blood or black. And I think there's a scar on his forehead here. So we'll go. It's hard to make out really. It could just be a cut. And then his forehead will go up here. Just above that scar. So his mouth, right, so he's kind of speaking, right, so he's saying the main expansion, so the mouth kind of curves down like that, and then we just open it up, adding a bottom lip, 
and we put just a shadow in here and then underneath just to show that there's some teeth there like he's talking and then the bottom lip line scar in the corner of his mouth and then they do a bit of a top lip line there can't see his chin because he has a finger right here okay so we'll go spiking nail finger Kind of bump him down. And then his like chin or and or jaw comes around here. And then we can see kind of the side of his face just coming down relatively straight from his nose to that finger. So his jaw sort of keeps going and then we go to his ear sort of here somewhere. That says the main expansion there so we can't sort of see his ear but I'm assuming we do something like this if it's anything like the other Jujutsu Kaisen ears. Right, and then ear lines inside, letter J, easiest way. And then you can add a bit more if you want. The ear connects with a sideburn, usually which then goes up, you know, joins like his hairline just here, which comes across the forehead, which is real small cause we're looking sort of up at it. So it's like, it's a real small forehead, see that? So his manga hair and anime hair are different. So we'll, we'll just go for, I kind, of like, I kind of like the short hair on him, to be honest. Just goes, starts to go down the back here. And so he has to have this section that's pink sort of here as well. And then the sort of black area, the back of his head sort of here. Right, so this will be all sort of textured and stuff. See the back of his head, so I'm kind of making that up a little bit. Doesn't look too bad, I think. Could bring the hair a bit more, maybe. Oh, no, I think it looks in proportion. Right, so then his collar is all sort of ripped and torn, right? So we can just do this. 
jaggedy kind of thing coming up onto his face here. Keep a couple of layers to his neck and collar and stuff. <laughs> It's like a red hood that overlaps and so it kind of like bumps down here onto his shoulder and his elbows comes out this way his face is all beat up as well and there is some hair back here so what do we do okay so say like another nose line here and some lines around his eye and we gotta like add like scratches and say like but there's lots of blood on him now all this kind of stuff but we'll add like a couple of hatch hatching sort of scars and things all coming across his face like he's been destroyed basically so feel free to go crazy with this if you want I'll add some red colour just onto his face as well. Lots of blood around his mouth. Right, you could do more or less than that if you want, of course. So Let's try and do, finish his hood. So, where does it go? This way. Disappears behind his hand somewhere here. Go to about there, right, because the hand comes across this way. And then there's two buttons. Get like little sort of edge lines to them. And they might look like spiral sort of wheel sort of lines there. And get some folding lines. Again, lots of blood and dirt and ripped and torn sort of sections on all this. So, his hands now at the front. So we've done the sort of index finger, right? And there is some extra skin lines and stuff on this. Then we get uh, knuckles curved over, right? Come on. This one sticks out a bit further too. And then interlocking ones. So say pinky curve around there. And then the other pinky is part of the other hand going down this way. And so pinky sort of disappears in the side of his hand here. And then this will sort of go out down to the back of the hand or the wrist. And he's got this strapping or I'm not sure if it's strapping or bone. I was confused when I saw his arms in the manga when this happened because it looks crazy. So we have a knuckle line. There and then, so this is like the back of his hand on the other side, and his wrist. Okay, and like some hand lines and stuff in here. Oop, and then another middle finger just sticking up here, then. Spiky 
nails on them. Like so. So, then I guess we should see some more hood just there. And then his shoulder coming off down that way. And then those pale wristbands that he has. Yeah, I think they just go like this way. And then this comes all the way across his forearm, which again has this bone structure or something around his wrist and across his arm. So this is like real bumpy now. So we'll just bump it. It goes off the page. It's a very big arm. This is like bone like thing there. It's coming around, right? With all these textures on this. It looks like he's got like scales or like fins or something down here. I'm not really sure. It's all kind of red. And then his shoulders here. There's another button here, of course. And his Jujutsu Kaisen uniform closes. And this comes down. You can see his body here. And that elbow goes like way further. These little textures on this. I guess we should see a bit more of the red color in here as well. Uh, hair spikes just in there or something. Right, but I think that's it. UG Domain Expansion. Hope it's helpful. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.